Boise O, Dad with Doa Kelly. It's time for some Kawi. Mm. Osta Kawi. What I've been saying is OCO is hello. Diagodoa Kelly. My name is Kelly and Kawe, of course, is coffee. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about cedar. And I want to show you and tell you some different ways to use cedar. Let me go refill my Kawe. There are several different ways that you can use cedar. And so one of the ways I did was I took about five or six cups of, not just the needles, I took the little stems too, and put them in a pan of water. I boiled it for about 30 minutes, and then I just let it set all day. It probably set four or five hours before I did anything with it. I'll tell you what, it makes the best hair rinse and body rinse. You can also soak in it. As a matter of fact, uh, John soaked in it when we were going through our sickness and you can use it as a foot soak. You guys, it is amazing. And I'll show you that process here in just a little bit. You can also make cedar tea with it. Now that's something that I have not done yet. I have not drank it. So uh, go ahead and do your own research on that. But it's really high in vitamin C and it uh, a lot of people use it to treat fevers and colds, flu-like symptoms. That seems to be going on uh, the end of 2020. And we'll probably be experiencing flu-like symptoms the whole year of 2021. So that's just something else you could do. But for two months, for two whole months, I took about two handfuls of the cedar put it in a crock pot, filled it all the way up with water, put it on high and just let it set and cleanse the air. It's a very good air clarifier. So I let it set there and oh, probably eight or nine hours and then I would fill it up again and run it all night. So that was an easy way for me to do it. Now you could do it on the stove top. You can boil it and then bring it down to a simmer and just let it sit there all day but since I use gas, I felt it was safer just to go ahead and use the crock pot. So that's what I did. Now, because cedar is such a medicinal plant, a medicinal tree, that's why I'm learning more and more about it. So eventually I will do the tea. I'm just not ready to take that jump yet. So I hope you stay with me because I'm sure before the end of the year, I'll be drinking me some cedar tea. So let's get on and I'll show you some things and how I made the body rinse, the hair rinse, and the body soak. I made a whole bunch of it, I made an extra big batch of it so that I could try to save it. Now I've never saved it before, so we'll see how it does by putting it into some bottles and some jars and saving it for, you know, later use because I'll use it every single day so it won't last that long but this way I don't have to uh, brew it and steep it every day and we'll see how that works so you guys if you haven't go get you a really good cup of kawi osta kawi and watch the rest of the video I'll quit rambling enjoy the video today I'm boiling cedar needles Okay, I got a nice boil on this now. I'm gonna turn the fire off and I'm just gonna let it steep all day and then I'm gonna be putting it in some plastic bottles and store it in the refrigerator. All right, so my cedar has been sitting all day after we boiled it really good. So I'm gonna 
strain it into this bowl with just a big cold strainer. I'm going to pour most of it out and then I'll get the rest. Mmm, that smells really good. Mm. And as you can see, it'll get out a little bit of the needles. So, what I'm going to do is get a smaller mesh here to strain it. What I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to put it in some glass containers and then I'm going to transfer it over to some plastic bottles and then I'll just be setting it in the refrigerator until I need it. And as short as my hair is now, this will give me probably four applications and all I'm going to do is just rinse my hair with it. And that gets all the rest of my needles out. Woo! Make a mess. And then I'll just set it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. Okay, these are all done up, so they'll be going into the refrigerator. And I have just some single little, I'm going to have John try that on his beard. Just a little easier containers to handle when you take it into the shower. But as you can see, i got a half gallon, a quart and a half. Uh, used to know kombucha jar back there. A jelly jar. So I got quite a bit out of that and I did steep it twice because um, it still had a lot of goodness left in it after the first batch. So I went ahead and steeped it again and just got me a huge supply of cedar tea, cedar juice, whatever you want to call it. This little bear that had honey in it makes the best little applicator bottle for the shower. So. What I did was just fill it up, and since it has the little uh, spout on it, it was a lot easier to control. And so what I did, since my hair is short, I just shampooed it and rinsed out the shampoo and put this on my hair and let it sit there while I finished washing my body, and then I rinsed it out. Now, some of you, some of you with long hair, you might want to go ahead and use your conditioner, but then after your conditioner, go ahead and put this on and leave it on, oh, I don't know, three to five minutes probably, and just keep doing it every time you shampoo and see if you like it. 
I think that after two or three applications, you're gonna see how much healthier and better that your hair works. But I wanted to share that little tip with you. So if you have any old honey uh, containers or anything with a spout on it like that, go ahead and put it in that and take it to the shower with you. And don't forget, if you made a batch like I did, go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator because you don't want that to spoil. And you know how leaves and uh, foliage and stuff like that that sits in water, it can become rank. So be sure and put it in the refrigerator. Anyway, I hope that you give it a try. Go out and enjoy life. Do something new.